Hey loves, it's your girl, Lash Tony XO. I've got my coffee because I have not, I've been so drained lately, you guys. Let me just adjust myself. I've been so drained. Oh my gosh, I have not felt like filming. <sighs> so much has been going on lately. Graduation. Um, just so much stuff's been going on. Um, I'm excited to say my birthday's coming up for for um ugh. birthdays in June, so I'm probably gonna do a get ready with me birthday, and I'm also gonna do what I got for my birthday video. And if you're interested in those videos, um, leave a comment below or give this video a thumbs up so I'll know that you want to see those um, because I love watching those. So yeah. So today is top five. Um, my mom went blank for a minute. Today's video is my favorite top five perfumes. Okay, there you go. Um, and here they are. Um, I'm going to go with the first one because it's my newest one. And I'm obsessed with it just because the packaging alone. Not to mention I got it for Mother's Day. It's just, it's beautiful. So let's talk about this one. It is. Gorge. Okay, it's Dolce and it's by Dolce and Gabbana. And it's the rose perfume. It's got the gorgeous rose on top with a black bow. It's got this gorgeous, like, I don't know what, what would you call this? It's like a frosted glass. Take the top off. Spray myself. Smell good. I smell good. Put a little bit behind my ear. You know what? Every time I spray this, I always eat it. I don't know why. It just goes straight to my mouth. So it's kind of weird, but um, and it is super big, and it was very expensive. It is let's see how many ounces. Two point five fluid ounces. Number one, the Dolce Dolce and Gabbana Rose perfume. Okay, then my next favorite. It is such a favorite that. It is going in my empties because it's empty. That's how much I use this. I cannot tell you guys how many compliments I've gotten. But the Chance Chanel, it's the green one. The light green one. It's a very fresh smell. It smells like um, you just took a shower in the rainforest. And you're just, there's flowers everywhere everywhere around. There's like, I don't know, Tarzan. I don't know. It's just very sexy. Fl not floral, but that one's floral. This one's more of a out outdoorsy, kind of like clean, showery smell. That's the best way I can smell it. I'm sorry. I smell it. The best way I can describe it to you guys. It's so... So good, but I, I mean, men compliment me on this stuff all the time. Men and women actually love the smell. So if you're looking for any perfume and you don't like sweet smells and you don't like florals, try this one out. Go to Ulta, go to Sephora, get a sample at Sephora or either just try to try it out at Ulta because they both carry it and um, you will be surprised. The smell of this is amazing. So, this is my number two. My number three. Okay. This, I love all the Escada perfumes. Um, this one right here is my favorite Escada perfume. As you can see, there's not much left in it. I totally use it. That's how much is left. Just a teeny, 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 weeny. Let's, let, let, um, I'm try I don't remember how much I paid for this. But, um, it's a really cool top to it and then you just pull it off here let me see if I can describe the smell mm. this is another clean smell but I don't feel like this is the rainforest type smell like earthy whatever smell I, th I feel like this is more extremely almost like if you had a lush bath with bath bombs 
and maybe you had these pink bath bombs that you threw in and you got out of the shower and you smelt like the bath bombs that's what this smells like it's a very clean smell like you just had a bath or just had a shower but it has a little bit of a girly not sweet more floral smell to it but it's very clean I really really love it I would repurchase this in a heartbeat they would repurchase and this one I would totally repurchase so these are great so those are the th three so far three of my favorite perfumes um, number four perfume is of course my favorite one of my favorite brands um, which is Michael Kors so there you go Michael Kors and this one is the um, there's different he has different ones okay this is sexy sexy amber so this one's gonna have a little punch to it pretty sure yeah this one smells like just describe it as a very sexy smell which that's why it's called sexy amber um it is a very nighttime i would say perfume like i think these are very daytime perfumes they're very light like you just took out took a shower or a bath this one i feel like it smells like perfume and you would wear it on a date or um girls night out or a party or something like that because it's very sexy and it's got like a, a stronger scent so that's how i would describe this and who doesn't love the michael kors packaging they're just it's always so so pretty okay Okay, the last one is the cheapest perfume that I have, but I get a lot of compliments on this perfume. Um, I've mentioned it before on my channel. So this is my number five perfume, and it's called Beautiful Day. The packaging alone is super cute. It's very spring, summer. They do make candles of Beautiful Day also. It does smell like Daisy. This is a very, it's not overpowering floral. It's just a very sweet, it's got a sweetish, like a sweet smell. Um, so those are my top five favorite perfumes. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe some of these are your favorites. If not, you should try some of them out. You might like it. Um, and give this video a thumbs up if you like this new series of my top five. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do different things. So if you would comment down below and give me some suggestions of what you would like to see in my top five. Would it be hair care? Would it be makeup? Would it be foundation? Just anything, everything. Um, maybe my top five stores that I like to shop at. It can be anything. Top five foods, top five healthy foods, top five anything. Um, so maybe top five uh, subscriptions. That would be a good one. Um, so yeah, this is another new series. I have the other series, which is Story Time with Lashes Tony XO, which is on Thursdays. And now this one is my new series. Is my top five series. I haven't decided what day I'm gonna post it yet, but I will keep you in t in um, in tune with that. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. I love you to pieces. And I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.